شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان The narrator as I said Sayyidatna Aisha She said that the wives of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to go <coughs> to Al-Manasi. 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 This open place, as I said last week, the people at that time, they don't have special place for bathroom or special place for to do the, the toilet. So they used to go to outside the area to open place to do this uh, to answer the call of nature. So, but what about the women? Is that possible to do it as a men? They have same situation, but can we say they will do same time? No. The wives of the Prophet Muhammad used to go used to go during the night to keep the night hide them from other people. Subhanallah. Sayyidina Umar radiallahu anhu arda he was very strong and he was with highest level of of haya he always asked the prophet Muhammad sallallahu before the order of hijab we know the verses of hijab came later <coughs> there are many stories about the reason of hijab the valid this when I cover my that the women when they cover their head or their faces this we call hijab in Arabic before at the beginning of Islam the women used to meet the men without hijab and one day as the some uh, Islamic books mentioned this story the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu was with his friends and Sayyidatna Aisha was with him so sitting with him they eat together at that time they eat from the same dishes the hand of Sayyidatna Aisha touch with other man the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu disliked this situation so at the same time Allah revealed the verses of hijab Allah order the <clears throat> all Muslim women to cover their head and their faces if they need that what is the rule of this uh, issue respected brothers and sisters in Islam definitely we should cover our our head this is as a order from Allah then if the ladies are very beautiful and maybe they will do fitna with other men the scholar said better if they cover their faces as well subhanallah the prophet muhammad sallam order uh, his wives to cover themselves still sayyidna umar still sayyidna umar feel very strong faith to say to prophet muhammad sallam ya rasulallah even when they left the house order them to to hide themselves as much as they can subhanallah sayyidina rasulullah sallam the prophet muhammad sallam at that time he didn't order them for that subhanallah sayyidina umar one day was sitting with his friends and one of the wives of the prophet muhammad sallam his name sauda bintu zam'a the the wife of the prophet muhammad sallam she want uh, to to do to answer the nature or the call of nature and she left her house during the night sayyidna umar recognized her and he called her he said oh zam'a uh, oh sauda <coughs> her name sauda oh sauda we recognized you why he said like this? 
why Sayyidina Umar in Paris, the wife of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu because he want to do something to encourage the Wahi to come to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu and this is what happened. Sayyidina Sauda, she fell in Paris at that time and she came back to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi she said Ya Rasulullah this and that happened with me and Umar he said that because Sayyidina Sauda she was a tall lady and uh, subhanallah when you know when someone little bit tall you can't recognize him from other people Sayyidina Sauda came back to Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu and she mentioned what happened at the same time Allah revealed the other verses of hijab to order the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to order all the women in his nation to cover themselves Allah order women respected sisters listen to this idea I know many sisters they said as the rules in this country and many Muslim country as well there is equality between man and men we don't have doubt with this point there is equality with everything between man and men but we have special rules for man in Islam and we have as well special rules for women this we don't mention about equality or not equality we mention about the rules of Islam the rules of Islam Allah order the women in the nation of Rasulullah to cover their head Allah order the women to gov to cover their bodies as well this is what Allah order all Muslim ladies in the nation of Rasulullah so now as we see subhanallah the Muslim women they try to copy other women from other nations they try to put the makeup they try to leave their houses every day they try to have work even if they don't need to this work just to leave the house they try to make <clears throat> something is not suitable with the Islam or the rules of Islam respected sisters Allah order all women not just Muslim all women to stay at their houses this is the best place for them if there is nothing important to leave their houses at the same time in the rules of Islam Allah order the men to care for his house his wife his children this is the special rules of men that mean men should care to support their families with everything with food with the clothes with house and the wives will stay to care for the children and the houses of Muslim people this is the rules in Islam but I don't mean this is not my idea to stay at the home without without knowledge this is the responsibility upon the men the men will get knowledge and the men will share with their families with their wives with their children this knowledge as the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to do with Sayyidina Aisha Sayyidina Aisha all the time at her house the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa used to teach her everything this is the sunnah of Islam I see now many countries Muslim countries they keep their wives without knowledge their wives are ignorant this is not fair they keep their wives just for kitchen house children yes they should to care for their houses their children but they should to be as well educated some some families some people they ask me after uh, secondary school I will not send my children to college or university why because big fitna big fitna when you leave your children without strong faith and good knowledge when you leave your children without knowledge they will get more fitna than this in the university this is what we should learn respected brothers we should to get this good balance of 
of understanding this is what we should understand <clears throat> yes if there is no uh, issue or we don't need the women to go out if the husband ready to support his wife to prepare everything for her to uh, give her everything the best place for women to stay at home وَقَرْنَ فِي بُيُوتِكُنْ This is what Allah says to all ladies. Stay at your home. This is the best place. If <clears throat> some of women, their husband passed away or they don't have any supporter, at that time Islam give them permission to go out to find any good work, polite way to get some sustenance, rizq, to support themselves. This is the exception or the, the point to allow to ladies to go out. If our daughters study in the school, they will go out, no problem. Finish secondary school, start in the college. This is our duty as a man to give them proper knowledge to make them on the right way. They can control themselves as well. They can get strong faith to protect themselves from shaitan's ways. This is what we need to understand. My daughter in the college, yes, good. She will go to university, good as well. She graduated as a doctor or engineer or something. At that time, we will look at this girl or this lady. If she get nikah and her husband ready, to support her, will say to her, try the best, don't spend long time outside the house. She is doctor, okay, make part time just to practice what you study and try the best to make more focusing for your house, your children, your husband. This is the best way for ladies. And this is what we should learn from the hadith. Even when the girls will leave the house, they must to keep themselves with hishma. Hishma, that means I will not put myself on the way of shaitan. I will not wear the clothes that will make other people look at their bodies. They will not treat other people with a silly way to encourage other, other people or men to do something wrong with them. This is very important idea. Respected brothers, I know we should understand this point. I will not say make the house as a jail for ladies. No. No. We go to market with our wives. We buy something with them. We go to masjid with them. We go to visit other people with them. No problem. If your daughter Mashallah, intelligent girl, and she, she need to go to university to study good uh, kind of knowledge. Bismillah. But we should care for their faith, their manners. Since they were very young, how can I care as a man when I get halal rizq, Allah will keep my children on the right way. Boys, Oh girls, when I practice Islam in the right way, Allah will care for my children. When I care for Allah's rules in my life, Allah will care for my family. This is very, very important idea. But if the man care for dunya and the woman is not educated, care for the kitchen and the house, Definitely we will find our children on the wrong way. But if the man care for his religion, for halal rizq, to do the best to make Allah happy with him and his family, he, teach, he teaches his wife, he teaches his children, and the wife get this knowledge, practice this knowledge at their life to keep herself at the, on the way of Rasulullah, and she cares for her children, Subhanallah, at that time you find these children, pious children.
فَاتَّقُوا الشَّهْرَ فَلْيَصُمْهُ 